Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to build this beautiful little townhouse in Lego Fortnite. Now, this is not my original design. This is a design from someone that I found on Reddit. I'm not sure how to pronounce their name, so thank you <laughs> for uh, your build and for inspiring this. Now, if you guys are gonna be buying anything from the Fortnite item shop and you don't have a creator that you're supporting, consider using my code Queen Surge. It uh, doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does give me a little bit of a kickback for any purchases that you make on uh, Fortnite. Now, let's get into the tutorial. We're gonna start out with a door. I personally prefer the brick door mantle over the regular brick door, but obviously you can use whichever one you'd like. I'm just gonna place it down here. We're gonna be using these brick corner extra pieces rather than the brick corners, but again, either one that you wanna use is totally fine. And we'll just go ahead and build that up too high. We're gonna go down to the window section. We're gonna pull up these brick windows here. That's gonna go right on top. I guess we can snap it right there. Now we're gonna take the brick wall 02. I desperately need to turn down the music. Next, we're gonna take this brick wall 02 and we're gonna have it facing in like this and we're just gonna put it right up against this brick wall here so that it's right on the corner here, not overlapping at all. Then we're gonna take the brick wall again or brick corner sorry now this is where you can kind of make a choice on what you want to put in this spot there's definitely a bunch of options you can of course use this big window here i am going to use the beachy window because i think it fits very nicely however in the original design they actually use this open door which also would fit really well and lastly, we're going to put this brick window up at the top and finish it off with two more of our brick corners. I almost forgot. <laughs> we're missing a little bit of another brick wall right in the corner here. Okay, we're going to take our brick wall 05 right here. Brick windows, brick windows, and brick wall. Then we take our brick corners. Then we'll take our brick windows down at the bottom here. We'll put two of these and two regular walls. Nope. We're going to take brick wall zero one, put it right here, and then the window and another wall. Now we take our brick corners. We're going to take a brick wall 02, brick wall 02. Going to snap a window right here and then a brick wall 01. And then we'll just do the same thing on the top. And with that, our exterior walls are complete. Now here's another part where yours may look different than mine. I've decided to go ahead and use this basic table. This is gonna be holding some plants and act kind of as a little windowsill for us. But realistically, you can use whatever table that feels fit for you. This is a really good option. Or alternatively, you could even use a square table like this one and just bring it all the way across. But we're just gonna use this basic table here. We're gonna get it right about there. I lied. <laughs> it's hard to center these tables, that's for sure. All right, that's about as even as we're gonna get it. And now we're gonna go to the plants and we're gonna start off with a somewhat big plant. Then we're gonna go for a rather smaller plant. Then I'm gonna take an even smaller one. Then we'll go for another large plant and one more medium plant. And at this point, I'm just gonna be making a little railing to go around the plants. I'm gonna take this railing corner here. We're gonna place it on this side right here. And then we're gonna take medieval railing 
01, snap it on right here. And then we're just gonna build out until we get to the corner. And on this one, we're actually gonna rotate the medieval railing this way for this side. And then we're just gonna put it right here on the corner. And then we should be good to finish it off like that. That should be the railing complete. Now I want a little ledge on top of the, oh my gosh, on top of the, the little front awning here. I'm gonna use these thin floorboards, but they are from the Beachside Boulevard pack. Boulevard? Boulevard. <laughs> pack. <laughs> so if you don't have that, that's fine. I would suggest just using a wood shelf. It's gonna look just as good. But since most of our accents are white here, and I do have this Beachside Boulevard pack, I'm going to be using it because I think it fits in really well with what I'm going for but we're just gonna place that right there. And then we're gonna go back to our plants and we're just gonna place down a couple of little plants right on top. And that looks great. Now for the roof. We're gonna be using on the supports tab here, these rustic beams. Now you kinda have to do some math with these because you see on the right hand side, it shows two by 16 by two. So the 16 is how long it is. That's how many pixels it is. And you can kind of see that on the end there, we're gonna have about four pixels left. So that's a total of 20 pixels. Now 16 is the highest we have, and then we have 12, and then we have eight and six. So if we wanna get to 20, we're gonna have to use a 12 and an eight. <laughs> if we use a 16, it's not gonna fit. So I'm gonna start off with a 12 here, and then an eight, and as you can see, it perfectly covers the front here. So you're gonna definitely have to do a little bit of math, but I can tell you we're gonna use a 12 and an eight that should be the size of one across. So it shouldn't be too difficult, and then I can also tell you that right here you can fit a six, and then here we're gonna use a 12 and a six because we don't have the corner piece where it's going. So that's two pixels. <laughs> and here again, we're gonna use 12 and two eights here. Now on the back side, we're able to easily use three twelves, which is very nice. And on the side here, two twelves and one eight. And that should be the whole area outlined. Now, what we're gonna do is put some floors in as the roofs. Again, this is where there's gonna be some differences. I'm actually gonna be using these dine-in floors from the Durberger pack because I think these are perfect for a roof shade. Again, if you don't have it, that's totally fine. I would suggest, again, going with a wooden themed or possibly even this castle floor. So what you can do is snap it right on the edge and you should be able to place, I believe, three of these floors down. And from there, <laughs> we're gonna have to kind of go in with our smaller pieces here. We can go in with the eight by eight by one. And we're just gonna try to get that snapped on to an edge here if it'll <sighs> cooperate. And now we should be left with something that will allow us to put the little like floorboard ones in. So let's see if it'll let us to just nudge them into place here, but that's looking good. All right, and that should be the roof complete. And for my standards, that's the entire exterior complete. Now you can do any more decorations that you'd like to add onto the exterior, that's perfectly fine. I'm not gonna add anything else. Now the interior is really open for interpretation. I'm gonna start out with a floor. I'm gonna use these tatami floors. <laughs> I don't know exactly how to pronounce them, so yeah. All right, I've got my floor in, and now we have this little corner here, and I am actually going to be using these brick corners on the inside. I'm going to use this one here on the bottom. Now I'm going to put two stairs, one this way and one this way, going up to the top here. Uh, these stairs that I used 
are the takeout stairs so they actually have this checkered pattern so you want a floor that's going to match whatever stairs you do decide to use so if you want to use these or these uh, or the bg stairs or the sugi stairs just make sure that you're using a floor that matches we're going to <laughs> bring that out basically we're just filling in the floor at this point Right, so we have our bottom floor, we have our top floor. Now the top floor, I'm going to use for our bedroom. We're just gonna use this little bed here. You can put whatever you'd like. Go ahead and tuck it right by this window. Then I'll get my stately end table because that's the one I feel like using. Put one on both sides. Then we're gonna go to our storage. We're just gonna find a nice little thing to put right here. We're going to go to our surfaces. We're going to grab the desk here. We're going to plop that right next to that. Get ourselves a little chair. Get a little lamp on our desk. And a book set. Oh, that's so cute. And we'll grab this nice little painting here. Oh, that's going to go great. And we need a rug. We finally have some new rugs. So let's get this blue little swirly uh, beach rug. But you can use whichever one you'd like, obviously. And that's our little upstairs bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I love it. All right, let's immediately go downstairs. First, I want to make use of this little spot right here. I'm going to grab these ancient tables. And I'm just going to place them right in here and they fit just perfectly. We're gonna grab a book set, a flower pot, and this scroll and brushes. Then I'm gonna place a little ceiling light right here, and we're gonna move on to this area, which is gonna be kind of like a living room. We're gonna go ahead and put our couch right here, along with a little armchair right here. We're gonna get a little square coffee table with a little lamp and we'll get a nice plant in the back corner if it'll fit there we go <laughs> nice little plant in the back corner we'll get some little wall paintings here just to kind of give the place some excitement and we'll hang up one of these life rings on this side then we're going to take this cookbook shelf and place it right here and if you're wanting to utilize the space under here as well, you can put a few little storage units right down there at the bottom. And lastly, I'm going to take this beachy rug and use it as kind of a welcome mat on the outside. And guys, that is this house complete. So here's the outside. We go in and this is the inside it's just a cozy little house with little bits of storage and utility here and there spread throughout let me know what you guys think and i'd be interested to see if you guys uh decide to build this or decorate it in your world uh definitely join my discord server it's linked down below in the description and I'd love to see your designs there. Maybe not just this one, but any other designs that you have. I'd love to see them. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!